Hi, this is Carl Polachek with another SOP video for managed service providers and today we're going to talk about the service call. And this seems like something that's very obvious except most of you do it different every time. And you need to have a standard operating procedure in order to make sure that you always deliver consistent service every time and that way you can hand this off to your employees and they can deliver your brand of managed services. As with many things, success starts with a checklist. So you're going to have a checklist that includes preparation and on-site components. You're going to talk about in terms of preparation, do you have the right tools that you're going to need? And nowadays we don't need very many tools, but every once in a while you do need a screwdriver, you do need something. And so do you have the tools you need? Do you have the supplies you need? Right? Listen, no, no point in driving across town if you don't have the supplies you're going to need. Is this a service ticket that's associated with installing a new uh, video card or something like that? In which case it should be on a shelf. It should be labeled with the client's name and the ticket number and you should be able to make sure you get that in order. I know a lot of people don't like to hear this, but you need to be dressed appropriately. Your technicians need to wear whatever your appropriate dress is. You might have a logoed shirt. You might say that we wear collars and long sleeves. You might say business casual. Whatever your requirement is, you should make sure that everybody knows it and it's on the checklist. There's no excuse to send somebody out who is not dressed as if they're worth the $120, $150 an hour that you're charging. Finally, you want to make sure that before the technician goes out, they check the PSA. How many tickets does this client have? Am I walking into uh, a, a problem? Uh, is there anybody who's mad? Are there any old tickets that need to be looked at? What exactly is going on at the client's office to the extent that it's in our system? I should have all that knowledge before I leave the office. There also need to be guidelines for etiquette once the technician is at the client's office. Sometimes it's little things like park on the street, park in the guest parking, something like that. Whatever the guidelines are, again, for your company. Don't take the first premium spot next to the front door. Leave that for the client's employees or their customers. Of course there's other on-site etiquette. You want to make sure that the technician always checks in with whoever your primary contact is. Let them know that you're there, what you plan to do, how long it's going to take, give them some feel for what you're up to, and check in before you leave. Never leave a client's office without making sure that they know exactly what you were there for and that you're done. And they may not understand everything you do, of course, that's fine, but you should be able to say, all right, is there anything else before I leave? It's also important, everyone on your team needs to know whether you have a one hour on-site minimum or two hour, whatever it happens to be. If you've got a one hour minimum and what you did only took 20 minutes, then you need to put your time into the ticket and you need to close it out and all that and then go to your primary contact and say what else needs to be done. Go through the checklist, go through their tickets, find out what else you can do. Give them the full hour so that they feel like you're actually paying attention to their money and taking care of them. It also means that you're going to be very relaxed when you're there and you're just going to kind of, you know, help them out and be friendly and make them feel comfortable with your company. Finally, the biggest thing that most people don't do is you need to enter your time into the ticket while you're at the client's office. There is absolutely no reason to put that off and take it somewhere else, do it later, do it at night, whatever. You must take perfect notes, have perfect recall, or enter your time when you work your ticket. Obviously, the easiest one of those is to enter your time in real time. It's also an opportunity for you to open the client's tickets and see what they've got, manage those tickets. You might have new tickets that are entered because somebody tapped you on the shoulder and they need something done. And of course, the answer is, well, would you like to enter a ticket or shall I enter a ticket? And if the answer is you shall enter the ticket, then you better enter that ticket before you leave that office. And then other tickets may have become irrelevant or you may have worked something, moved it a little bit forward. Make sure that they all have the right status, the right time estimates, right? Make sure all of those tickets are as up to date as they can be within your system. 
close out the ones that you have finished and then when you're finished with that, then you're finished with the appointment. Don't forget to say goodbye to the client. Thank you for watching these SOP videos. I welcome your feedback and comments either here or on my blog at smallbizthoughts.com or even on Facebook or Twitter if you prefer. Thanks for tuning in. This is Carl saying I wish you all the best in your managed service business.